Welcome to the Buzz UG, the channel that precisely brings you up to date about the biggest stories trending and uh, making headlines in the country. My name is Melads Milo aka Fuller and uh, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well finally Argentina won the World Cup 2022 and uh, congratulations to everybody who has been supporting that country. I think it's the biggest story trending worldwide. Everybody right now on this planet Earth is talking about Lionel Messi, is talking about Argentina. Congratulations to them. Well, last night, uh, four people were reported dead after a bus collided with uh, a Toyota Fielder when the driver of the bus reportedly attempted to overtake other vehicles along Masaka Mbarera Highway. All the victims were occupants of uh, the Toyota Fielder. Uh, that's very sad news coming in right there. I think we need to be careful, especially the drivers taking people from point A to B in this festive season. May their souls rest in peace. Well, Dr. Samuel Oledo, the gentleman who recently requested President Museveni to return as president come 2026, has been dropped as president by Uganda Medical Association, commonly known as WUMA. His membership of WUMA has also been suspended for the next four years. They have elected his vice president, Edith Naku Jolova, as the new president for the remaining term of office. Well, congratulations to Edith Naku Jolova. <laughs> Now, there is information circulating on different social media platforms indicating that an intruder last week accessed the Deputy Speaker Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa's home through the window in Chigo on the shores of Lake Victoria and disappeared with some of their property. Uh, the motive hasn't yet been established and uh, of course you must be asking yourself where security was at the time. Uh, according to reports, the security officers slept on the job, so they didn't notice what transpired. However, Mr. Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda Police, said he's not yet aware of this incident. And uh, the head of communication at Parliament, Mr. Chris Obore, said this is still a rumor. It's not yet confirmed. So yeah, that's what is making headlines in the Deputy Speaker's camp, Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa. <laughs> Now, President Museveni met the United Kingdom's royal monarch, that is King Charles III, on Saturday. According to reports, President Museveni made the trip to the king's residence to commiserate with him on the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. It's reported that President Museveni's visit makes him the very first African president to meet King Charles in his capacity. Museveni is finally back in the country. Well, that's the latest update I got for you right now on The Buzz UG. And uh, just in case it's your very first time right on this platform, please go right ahead and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you.